When Teddy Abrams was named conductor of the Louisville Orchestra in 2014, he became the youngest conductor of a major orchestra in the United States. Fascinating. Yeah, of course. Surprising? No. When you look at his backstory, you realize there was never a doubt what he was going to be and just how good he'd be at it. Eric King has this week's Kentuckiana Proud. I've wanted to be a conductor since I was nine years old, and I was already playing music pretty seriously before then. I've told the story many times, but my parents took me to go and see uh, my very first orchestra concert when I was nine, and it was a free outdoor concert played by the San Francisco Symphony, and I fell in love with it from the first moment and said, I want to be a conductor, that's what I want to do. And I've been you know, chasing that uh, my, my whole life, and it's really, really incredible that I actually get to do the thing uh, that I wanted to do as a little kid. Like, that was my, my dream. From prodigy to world-class conductor and musician, Teddy Abrams is the driving force behind a new Louisville Orchestra, an orchestra that's accessible to everyone. That's everything that I've tried to do because the orchestra sadly uh, has developed a stereotype and a reputation around the world, not just in Louisville, obviously. Orchestras as a concept, this, this reputation of being only for certain people, certain people that can afford it, certain people that look uh, a certain way, uh, people that grew up with that kind of music. And my whole belief is that if you say, say that you're the Louisville Orchestra or you're the New York Philharmonic or the London Symphony, I don't care what it is, but if the name of that city is in your title, then you belong to the people. We're the Louisville Orchestra, we belong to Louisville. And that means a whole lot of people with a lot of different perspectives on life, a lot of different backgrounds, and a lot of different stories. So our music belongs to them. And if we're not serving them and we're not creating a place that they feel that they actually own, this is their place, it's their house when they come to the concert hall, then we're failing, we're failing the city. Uh, and everything I've tried to do revolves around that belief. His attention to the importance of access isn't the result of a newfound wokeness. Remember, it was a free symphony concert that opened his eyes and changed his life forever. That is the power of music when it reaches everyone. And at a time when public discourse is often polarizing, Teddy says it's the orchestra that offers a roadmap to understanding. It's one of the greatest examples of 80 people who have different backgrounds, different uh, maybe ideas about what music might mean, somehow having to work together non-verbally. That's one of the great examples of, of human collaboration. So it's a, it's a wonderful thing as a model to have for what human beings can really do in a positive way. There is so much on the Louisville Orchestra's concert schedule. We have a link for it in this story on WHAS11.com.